Now coming to fungal infections. Um, the fungal infections can be uh, that we deal with are pseudomembranous and rhizomatous candidosis, could be dentures stomatitis, could be angular chelitis, and so on. Now, um, the kinds of patients or people who would be at risk of developing fungal infections would be people who generally use inhaled corticosteroids, um, are using cytotoxic medications, or on broad, broad spectrum antibiotics. Uh, could be diabetics, could be HIV patients, any patients who basically have their immune system compromised could be at risk of developing fungal infections, oral fungal infections. Now in this case, uh, we can give local advice of if the patients, for example, using inhaled corticosteroids, ask them to rinse their mouth after using it or brush their teeth right after uh, inhaling the corticosteroid. However, if it's um, after that, we can give medications. Now, in the previous guidelines, uh, Scottish guidelines, they had not mentioned fluconazole, but it's in the January 2016 one, they had mentioned it. So, which is why I've mentioned it in my lecture. Um, now, fluconazole capsule is given as 50 milligrams, one capsule a day um, for seven days, which makes it seven capsules. Now we have to remember not to give this in patients who are on warfarin or are taking any statin drugs. Okay, and the same goes for the medic for the for the drug meconazole that I'm going to mention just now. Remember, both of these can be given in statins and can be given in warfarin patients. Mm, in statin patients, they may induce myopathy, so we don't give them in statin patients for that reason. Now, meconazole can be given as a gel, 20 milligrams per gram, pea-sized amount, and we have to be, uh, pea-sized amount to be applied um, after the meal, four times a day, and we give an 80 gram tube. Nystatin um, can be given as well, for example, the patients on warfarin and statin, just like I said before, uh, they can be given nystatin oral suspension instead. Um, nystatin oral suspension is given as 100,000 units per mil. We give one mil uh, four times a day, ask the patient to rinse with one mil four times a day for seven days, which uh, we then dispense as 30 mils. Um, so basically this is um, in, in, in pseudomembranous candidosis and rhythmatous candidosis, the treatments generally carried out over a period of a week. Um, coming to denture stomatitis, now, denture stomatitis treatment is very similar to uh, the pseudomembranous and erythematous candidosis. The difference, however, is that um, uh, the difference is that if we're giving meconazole, because this is basically in denture patients, we're going to ask the patient to put the meconazole gel on the fitting surface of the denture. The rest is the same. The local measures, however, include we ask the patient to brush their palate daily. Uh, soak the denture in a chemical solution. Now, it depends on what kind of denture they're wearing. If they're wearing a metal denture or cobalt chromium denture, this can be a chlorhexidine mouthwash. However, if they're wearing acrylic dentures, it's it's got to be a sodium hypochlorite. Um, and they should leave the denture out as much as possible. Uh, that will make sure that it heals up faster. Um, 